In this video, let's take a look at the fifth query method, which is get by display value. Get by display value returns the input text area or select element that has the matching display value. Let's understand the usage with an example. In the application component on the name input, I'm going to add the value attribute. Value is equal to Vishwas. If I save the file, we get a warning in the terminal. You provided a value prop to a form field without an onChange handler. This will render a read-only field. And if the field should be mutable, use default value. Otherwise, set either onChange or read-only. You can choose one of the selected options to fix this, but I am going to assign an empty function to the onChange handler. Save the file and the warning disappears. Now we can find this input element in our test using get by display value property. This is going to be our fourth way to find the name input element. Const name element four is equal to screen dot get by display value. And the value which we have entered is Vishwas. In the next line, we expect name element four to be in the document. If we save the file, the test passes. If I change the input value to Vish, we can see the test fails. Our query method works as expected. To summarize, get by display value returns the input text area or select element that has the matching display value. Typically, you'll use this when you want to query form controls based on their values. For our example, we set a value to the name input element and found it in our test using get by display value. That is our fifth query method. Let's take a look at the sixth one in the next video.